Now what I'm going to do is add um, some still images from our film to the back of our DVD cover. Um, and in between this and the last part of the tutorial, um, I've just added um, a tagline to the back of the DVD cover just using the text tool and the character palette that I showed you before. Now, um, to put some still images onto the back of the page, I'm actually going to create uh, some containers or clipping masks um, for these images and to do that I'm going to grab the uh, rectangle tool which lives down here in the um, tool palette and to select these tools you can also press U and what I'm going to do is just create an object um, it doesn't matter what color it is at the moment so I'm more than happy to leave it red like that and I'm actually going to create three of these and a really quick way to copy objects um, like this is by holding down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC, and dragging. And I'm just going to drag one object like that and then drag another. And I want to have them an equal distance apart, uh, just like that. Now, if you have a look in my Layers palette, you'll notice that I have um, three uh, vector shapes here. I'm going to call them Picture 1, Picture 2, and I'm going to call this one Picture 3, just like that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is once again bring some um, pictures into my document. Um, these are stock images, but you of course are going to use um, images um, from your uh, film. And let's just have a look through the folder here. Uh, that's not too bad um, for one photo, so I'm just going to open that and as I've been doing throughout the whole tutorial I'm just going to drag uh, this image from the layers palette and drop it into my cover. Now you'll notice it's um, probably a little bit um, large for these boxes. We'll resize it in a moment, but what I'd like to do first is demonstrate how these um, clipping masks work. I'm going to drag the um, layer on top of picture one just like this. So you'll notice that it's on top of that first uh, box there um, but below the others. And next I'm going to hold down the Option key positioning my cursor between the vector shape that I drew and the image that I've just dropped into the document. And what you'll notice is that the when I hold down the Option key the cursor actually changes to the clipping mask icon. When I click my mouse button um, that object is now contained um, within that shape. So no matter where I move it, it's going to stay inside that rectangle. What I'm going to do now, having selected the image itself, is hold down Command T to resize it. And I'm going to move it around and resize it till I get it in um, a position like that. Um, I'm going to repeat this step for all three images. Now that I've added the uh, three images to my um, rectangles, what I'm going to do is select the rectangles themselves, um, go down to Layer Styles, and I'm just going to add a stroke um, around the edge of each of these objects. I'm going to leave it at three pixels, um, and, but I'm going to change the color once again to white, just like that. Now as with layers, if I go over to my layer palette and um, select this stroke while holding down the Option key, I can actually apply that to the other rectangles. Um, so what I've got now is a, a nice uh, three-point stroke around the outside um, of those objects, and that's looking reasonably good. Uh, what I'm going to do just to uh, manage this a bit better is click on the top layer, which is an image, scroll down to the bottom layer, which is um, one of the rectangles, and drag all of those into a group. And I'm going to call this Still Images. It just helps to keep the layers palette nice and neat. What I'm going to do now is uh, just add some uh, text to um, the, the back of the DVD cover. It's just going to be a blurb. I'm going to grab the text tool. And rather than have this in um, Trajan, the movie font that I've been using uh, throughout this tutorial. I'm actually going to change fonts. Um, I'm going to make it uh, about, we'll try for size 12 to start off with. Uh, the color, of course, is going to be white because it's on a black background. Um, and I'm also, uh, sorry, going to make the 
the font size 12 and I'll set the leading to auto and I'm just going to paste in uh, some material that I've already written and there we have it um, I actually set the font size to size 10 uh, made it a little bit smaller uh, next up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some um, images happening on this back cover and because I'm immensely lazy uh, I'm actually gonna take uh, the pictures that I used on the front cover um, and to do that I'm gonna hold down the shift key um, clicking on the color balance layer from the front cover and I'm gonna go down all the way to the uh, the trees object uh, that I put in on that layer I'm going to hold down the option key and drag all of those drag all of those into the back cover and let go and what I've done now is if I grab the move tool by pressing V is I have a copy of that on the back cover now I'm just going to move it around a little bit and um, put it in a slightly different position and that's looking reasonably good. The other thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to change the hue and saturation layer because I'm going to have a lot of white text on this image. I want to make it a bit darker so I'm going to double click on this hue and saturation uh, layer and turn down the saturation, uh, sorry turn down the lightness rather uh, quite a bit so it becomes a lot more um, a lot darker just like that.